Kenya got something to say. Check this out. Most amazing experience. Um, thank you, Binge Work, uh, to allow you guys to experience it with me. A lot of you, Team Twirl, you guys have been riding with me uh, from the beginning of time, from you know, from when I first appeared as you know, Miss USA to, to being a real housewife and all of my many endeavors, my hair care line, shout out to Kenny Moore Hair Care and all of the above. You guys have been riding with me and I would love you for it. So I wanted you to just have like this small tour um, and hopefully you'll come in and stop by because when I tell you um, <laughs> this place is scary when you don't have a ton of customers or people are just looky loose, you know. I've even had bloggers come and make fake appointments and cancel appointments at the last minute. Some of you might even know who those bloggers are. But the, the, the way that people go um, out of their way to try to disparage your name or ruin your business, I, I will never understand it. Like, I will never understand why, you know, clickbait or using my name as clickbait. Hey, Latoya Forever, using clickbait um, and these tactics, you know, stalking me, um, you know, violating my privacy, all of those things. And yes, some of those things come with a job and I accept that, but not disparaging my business. You know, not coming out over here and, you know, literally calling, booking up my books and then doing no shows because you wanted to see if, you know, we were open or you wanted to have a story, you know, for clickbait online. It's not cool. Um, leave me alone. <laughs> you know, I'm a single mom. I'm out here just like anybody else. Um, I am not getting child support. I'm not getting anything. I'm taking care of my daughter on my own. And I know a lot of you understand that. I'm an entrepreneur. So my endeavors, where you know I invest my money is always going to be in myself. And so far, so good. I have won at that game. But this salon has damn near you know, broken the bank because I just never knew it could you know, be this big on this scale. Um, and it's disheartening when you see people go out of their way to try to ruin your business. Like I've even had people on Google and doing Google reviews, um, saying crazy stuff on Google reviews. So at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm just like you. I am completely a single mom trying to take care of my child. I'm not getting support from my soon to be ex-husband because he's not, we're not divorced yet. Um, so again, you just ride with me, you know, uh, ride with me through this journey because I know a lot of entrepreneurs have the same journey of putting themselves, their money out on the line and not even knowing um, that if it's going to work out. Someone wrote, request a deposit. At this point, we, we don't, we're not taking deposits. We're taking full payments because of all the, the hate and crazy people. There's some people are maybe just Uber fans that just want to get into the building. You know, that just want to get into the building um, just to either see me or see the place. So I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Um, someone goes, the day in the divorce is lasting longer than the marriage. Yeah, that's true. It's been seven years. I got married seven years ago. My anniversary was just a few weeks, a few days ago. So that was that this has been a very, you know, very tough week for me. Um, having to answer a lot of questions, you know, from my daughter, having to to just deal with um, all of the stresses that, you know, just knowing that, you know, the marriage came to an end and I have this beautiful um, daughter as a result of that. So I can't say anything other than the fact that I am blessed. Um, and I just want people to stop uh, trying to tear down another black woman's business. Like, it's not that serious, you know? I think that I, I don't bother people unless they bother me. I'm over here trying to feed my family of two. Um, I have a lot of responsibilities and I just don't need people just, you know, going out of their way to, to disparage my, you know, my good name. So, um, so yes, that's, that's what I, the most amazing experience. Um, thank you, Ben. Ooh, girl, Michelle ATL alien must've hit a, a nerve, honey. 
because I think this was directed to ATL Ellie and Michelle Brown. What do you guys think? I mean, Kenya, you did not address the elephant in the room, but she did this on purpose. Pretty much, she was telling Michelle, keep my name out your mouth and leave me alone. Stop effing with my business. That's what I get from this. Uh, people are saying they still want to know, bitch, are you fired or not? Are you suspended? Something is going on because clearly she would have just came out here and say, hey, um, I'm still this and I'm still that or whatever. Now, you do have somebody that wrote earlier up here. They said this. Um, if anybody I've watched it, just read the title. Um, uh, she Kenya says she's not going nowhere. But shit, that's what Kenya think. But what about the producers think? What about that lawsuit thing? You know, that's that's her thoughts. I'm not going nowhere. Do we have that from writing by Bravo or the Real Wives, Housewives of Atlanta? That's a figure of speech. I'm not going nowhere. Shit, she just talking, God damn it. That don't mean shit, okay? Just like some of y'all say y'all going to heaven. That's a figure of speech. That ain't a fucking fact. Okay, how y'all act? Uh-uh, that ain't a fact. So dismiss me with that. Michelle is going to stay on her ass, and she ain't letting off the brakes. Do you understand? I mean, she ain't letting off that goddamn gas. All right, let me get on out of here. Love y'all. Bye.